Hello everybody, today we are going to learn how to change the distance of an object track. So an object track that you already solved. So let's start. So as you can see right here we have, that's too slow, you can see right here we have an object track. Um, so that, yeah, there's that. But the camera's moving. Check this out. It's not moving the whole time, but just ignore that. Just pretend your camera's moving the whole time. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But um, yeah, so uh, the problem is, if I look at this, oh yeah, it looks cool. But um, I only tracked a certain part. So I only tracked like from here to here. And then I needed to continue it. So I did another solve that does the rest of this. Uh, if you look at the old one, here is the old one right here. Turn this off. Here's the old track. See, it doesn't match anymore. Um, that's because I only solved it up to a certain point. See that goes off right there, but it's good before this. Um, here's where the problem starts though. Um, if I go to the very beginning, you can see my points are right here. And I already have a head. Check this out. See this head right here? It's, in, it's already positioned. It already looks good. Um, I already did the work for this and, and it matches really well. Um, but you guys may run into this issue as well. Sorry for rambling. Um, let me turn this off. Where you do another track, and look at this. It's not far enough. And if I were to just scale this up, um, let's say from the 3D cursor, I've already tried this with different methods. Like if I were to just scale it up and do this, um, it won't work. I'll just tell you right now it won't work. You can try it. I'm not going to show you. It's going to waste your time. Um, so I want to show you a way to fix that. So what we're going to do is... Um, to get this to be where this is, that way I don't have to change anything, it'll just work out, is we are going to, first of all, uh, duplicate the camera. Okay, sorry this is everywhere, but I need to get this out and um, I don't need to, I don't want to practice. So here's our camera, so it's duplicated. I'm going to turn off the old one. Here is the new one. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and we're going to clear keyframes. There we go. At the first frame. So for me, 41, 48 is my first frame. You can do this wherever you want, you know, whichever frame is considered your reference frame, if you think of like Nuke or something. Um, so now that that's done, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here and we're going to go ahead and turn this, we're going to just take that off. We're going to go to Object Solver. Mine is named Face Track. It's going to be whatever you named yours and whatever camera. So we're going to use the third camera here, the one we just duplicated. So we go like that, set inverse. And um, if we look through this new camera, click that. Check this out. It matches. Uh, ignore this. This is the old one. Click. So here's a new one. It still matches, right? Like it looks good in camera. Um, but now our camera is not moving. So if you look right here. Awesome. See, the camera's not moving. So what we're going to do next is we are going to bake this. So we'll just go bake action. And that looks good enough to me. All right. Awesome. So now it's going to look the same. Should you check us out? Yay, it works. Okay. So now that that action is baked, we're going to go back to the first frame. And I'm going to, uh, first I'm going to hit this camera, shift S, uh, cursor to selected. I'm going to put the cursor there. And I'm going to add an empty like this. And then I'm going to take our points and I'm going to parent it to the empty. All right. So now that that's done, I'm going to turn on the old track. You see how far it is away? We're just going to scale this up. Pretty easy, right? Look. Boom. Wow. That's so beautiful. Um, so now that that's there, uh, we're going to look through the camera. Make sure it works. Yep. Let me turn off the old track. Check this out. It still works, right? Wow, that's amazing. And if we look at the uh, old track right here, see they're almost overlapping. They're like best buds. So I love this. Um, this makes me very happy. Um, let me check something real quick. Oh, so they have two different... Whatever, that doesn't matter. Right. Um, yeah, so now they're in the same spot, but now they match. So that's perfect, right? So what we're going to do is go ahead and bake that then. So let's go over here, bake action again, like this. Now we don't need this empty. Now if we go in here, it's matching perfectly. And what we can do now that the action is baked is go ahead and just get rid of this camera. Go back to our original camera with the motion in it. Check this out. And then we're going to parent it on that first frame. Keep transform. 
And then if we look at this, it should work. Yay, look at that. So now it's at the correct distance. So if I turn on the first face track right here, check this out, look. Same distance and everything. Um, let me turn it off. But now, it works. See that? And you have your camera motion. So you have your cake and eat it too. Amazing. Um, I'm sorry that this was so like fast and all over the place, but um, yeah, so you, you can see that they're matching really well and our object track continues. Um, yeah, I'm sorry that was so scatterbrained, but I literally have not solved this for years. Years, literally years. So um, when I've just like accidentally figured out a way to get around this right now, I had to record it. Okay, well, um, I think that's it. Um, I can do like a better version of this, maybe, but I don't know, I'm pretty lazy. Uh, and uh, I get really tired and sick, so I don't like recording tutorials that often. All right, anyways, that's going to be it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. I can refine this later. All right, see you. Bye.